Hi everyone, my name is Bella and I'm an intern for the Colorado Mountain Club. Today we are going to talk about astrophotography or the photography of astronomical objects, celestial events, and areas of the night sky. Nighttime photography can be a little tricky at first, but once you know the basics, it is easy to get started. And like all photography types, it can be mastered with the right equipment and practice. For astrophotography, you will need five essential things. One, grab your DSLR camera. Two, you'll need a tripod for these photos. Your camera will be very sensitive to movement when shooting with a long exposure. Three, travel to an area with little to no light pollution. The key to a great photo is darkness and clear skies. A headlamp will make your life a thousand times easier when adjusting your camera and tripod in the dark. And finally, a wide angle lens to help you capture as much of the sky as you can. To begin, you will need to carefully adjust your camera settings. Make sure your camera is in manual mode. Since deep sky objects are faint, imaging them is about opening the shutter for as long as your camera allows to let as much light as possible hit the camera's digital sensor. For my own camera, it allows a 30 second exposure. As a review, all photography is about balancing aperture, which controls how much light reaches the image sensor, ISO, which controls the light sensitivity of the imaging sensor, and shutter speed and exposure time which controls how long the image sensor is exposed to light. Start with an aperture as wide open as the lens goes. In my case, it's f2.8. ISO 100 is used for bright conditions, so consider ISO 800 for astrophotography for more sensitivity, though ISO 1600 or 3200 may work better depending, as long as it is adjusted to fit your aperture. Then, for shutter speed, the longer the exposure is, the better your results will be. Focusing may sometimes be difficult in the darkness. On autofocus, the camera will try to find an object to focus on. If it can't find one, it will not allow you to press the shutter. Try and find a point of light in the landscape to focus on, or when in doubt, switch to manual focus, which will allow you to press the shutter. If you're able to, you can find a spot and pre-focus during the daylight hours so you're ready to go when it gets dark. For example, my point of light in this photo was the tent. The camera lens focused on the tent, allowing the rest of the image to be in focus, even though it was very dark outside. Now you're ready to go out and shoot. Mount your camera on your tripod and shoot for the stars. Whatever you do, always shoot in RAW rather than JPEG so that you can use ed photo editing software such as Photoshop or Bridge to produce a brighter, more detailed image. Astrophotographers often take numerous exposures and blend them together to create more dramatic photos. So grab a tripod and take your camera with you on your next backpacking trip and be patient. Trial and error is the best way to perfect this skill.